Hello viewers, welcome to Hip Hop MC, a channel that brings you the latest news from the American entertainment industry and hip hop culture. In today's discussion, we'll talk about the hit boy beat specially created for the New York lyricist's dynamic rhyme from the latest installment in the King's Disease series. Before we go any further, please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more stories and information. Nas King's Disease series of albums is proving to be an amazing revival of Queensbridge hip-hop. The first installment in the trilogy earned him his first Grammy Award for Best Rap Album of 2021, and the sequel served as a love letter to hip-hop culture placing it as a thematic counterpoint to 2006's Hip Hop Is Dead. Caught, the 49-year-old Nas and Hit Boy are further cementing their rapper-producer dynamic. Ahead of the series' grand finale after Magic, released on Christmas Eve 2021, the two reunited for King's Disease 3, with Hit Boy producing and executive producing alongside Nas. Off to a good start with the 1991 R&B staples, Five Heartbeats and Legit, here, Nas pleads, Black Owners, Lower Rents Film Reels. Jordan Peele is at the bottom of the job, the track Thun sees the producer soaring over an orchestral backdrop that playfully recreates his early 00's feud with Jay-Z. There's no beef, there's no competition, they play air on title brothers, and they can do whatever they want, he raps. The scene where they say take over in a Range Rover. The first time is a reflection on Nas' 30-year musical career. He laughed, imagining what it must have been like to show his groundbreaking music to fans for the first time. Your brother added you as a surprise I hear him explain with his soul in my hoodie. You can see it up close. The criticism he's received over the years, you're somebody, me, you've probably heard I pick the bad parts but I pick the bad monsters. He then recalled the initial pressure to adapt to the boom of the mid-1990s. I tried to juggle the Colombian record, doing what the Colombian jungle left us. Later modern rap. A big man of the day, Kendrick Lamar. I've been around since Kendrick came on the scene in 2009. It's nice to see history. The baton may be long gone, but Nars' storytelling and passion for storytelling is unmistakable. The New York rapper concludes his powerful trilogy of albums with The King's Disease 3. This proves that even after 30 years, he is still a force to be reckoned with. They argue about KD1 or KD2 or Magic. He reflects on his recent impressive record in Ghetto Responder. What's so hard about KD3 being faster than others? Let us know what you think in the comments section, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more.